What up, YouTube? It's Holy Joe Rock and Roll coming to you live and unscripted. I wanted to tell you about a recent taxi ride I had. I jumped into the taxi and I told him in Polish, I said, Do uh, pikepe, which is the Polish communication pochonkin, the Polish train station in Krakow. And he says, in English, you want to go to the main train station? I said, yes. So we start to drive, he asks me where I'm from, I say USA, but I say Jestem już Polakiem, which means I'm already Polish. And he says, uh, ah, you have Polish girlfriend? I said, no, I'm Polish wife. He said, you met your, he asked me if I met my wife in the USA, I said, no, I met her here. And he said, ah, you're a clever boy. And then he says, uh, you know much about Poland? I said, yeah, you know, I, you know, I know, I know quite a bit. He said, I ask people all the time, what do they know about Poland? And they say, I know Auschwitz. And he got very upset. He said, Auschwitz is not a Polish, it's not a Polish city. It's a Nazi death camp that the Nazis, the German Nazis built uh, during the war, which is true. And then he goes on to explain how Poland was the largest European country in the 15th, 16th, 17th centuries, where it, it did go from uh, the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea from, um, you know, Austria to Vielun, uh, you know, Vielunis, uh, whatever, uh, current day Baltic Sea, Lithuania, and parts of Białoruś, uh, uh, you know, anyways, it's huge, it was a huge country, so yes, I know that. Um, then he tells me that he, um, he worked in the Huta, which is a steel mill. Um, he was uh, working in a foundry. Um, for 26 years, he hurt his back. Doctor gave him, um, told him that he hurt his back and he had like some kind of medical retirement. And that he's been driving a taxi ever since. And he spoke very really good English. I asked him, how did you learn such good English? He said that his parents got him private English lessons when he was a child because his grandfather was American. Um, and he was planning to go to America and live with him. But his grandfather died. And unfortunately he, well, for him he said it's fortunate, he's happy that he stayed in Poland, he never went to the U.S. He stayed in Poland. And um, then he started to go on about, I don't know how Polish people can be with English men. You know, in Poland we drink tea from a glass. In England you drink tea from a cup. In Poland we drink tea with lemon. In England you drink tea with milk. And I was like, dude! I'm not English. <laughs> yeah. Holy Joe Rock and Roll coming to you live, unscripted. Till next time. Peace. This is uh, as a follow-up. Just as we got to the train station, I, I asked him, I said, hey, what do you think about the Poland adopting the Euro? And he says, the lesson is over. Goodbye. <laughs> that was the end of the ride. But it was a cool, cool, interesting character, uh, interesting taxi guy. Kocham Polska, a te?